we're going to import data. And the first thing we need to import data is to get our data into a CSV format, a comma separated values format. So you might think, how am I going to get my data into a CSV file? Well, the easiest thing that you can do that maybe you hadn't thought of is ask your colleagues. The people that are now emailing you spreadsheets, maybe they can supply you with CSV files instead. Many database systems can easily export also to CSV. So it really won't be a silly question if you ask your colleagues, hey, would it be possible to email me CSV files instead? That is an option. If you can do that, then suppose you already have your data in Excel, you can also do the transformation yourself. It's not that hard. You just open your spreadsheet and you save it as a CSV file. There we go, we save and then we select instead of X less X file, we scroll down and we pick CSV and then we get our data in the CSV. Excel gives us a warning, hey, be careful, formulas and pivot tables will be removed if you convert to CSV, but that is okay, we don't need them. And now, like we did in the previous MOOC, like where we imported data from the web, we can import data from the CSV file now. So we pick the limited and we tell Excel that our data has headers because the first row is a header row. And even though it's called a CSV file, we still have to tell Excel that commas are the separators between the columns. So we get a nice little preview now and here we can set the data type. So we say this is text and this is text, all the others are text as well, but I guess you believe that. And here we have a date. So we have to tell Excel, be careful, this is a date. And also say that it is month, day, year. And then it knows how to interpret it. Maybe you want to click OK now, but don't do that. We have to go to the properties first because there's one important property here that we need to remove. We don't want Excel to ask for the file name upon refresh. If we would click that, then every time we click refresh, Excel will ask us, what is the file name? So we want to disable that. And there we go. Now we have all the data from the CSV file into our Excel file at once. And suppose we have that annoying colleague again that emailed us, huh, here is a new updated version. That is no trouble for us anymore. Because what we can just do is we open the file. Oh yeah, let me show you that we have 753 rows now. That will be important later. We open the file, the second file that our colleague sent us, and we can just save this file again as a CSV file. There we go. We scroll down, we pick CSV, and now we pick the file that is already there. We overwrite it. Yes, Excel, we know. We're okay, we know what we're doing with the warnings. We can close it. And now the second file is saved as a CSV file. So we just click refresh, and the data is loaded. Let us scroll down, you can see that we now got five extra rows. So without any copy pasting, without any deleting data, we just make sure that we're pointing to the same file name, we click refresh and all the data is there. Isn't that nice? 